Okay, our first operation will be lathe facing, so I choose my new operation. Here I have lathe operations and lathe facing. So this is pretty basic operation. In order to change the job assignment, I switched the job assignment tab and I can see you can see that here in Sprutcam you can create uh, your or edit job assignments uh, very easy and very in, in a very interactive way. So I will show you more details later. Just for facing, I will create this, press run, and that's basically it. So next for uh, because lathe facing is very easy, I will create in this video also lathe OD roughing operation. It looks like this. So by default, the job assignment uh, is considered to be all the workpiece. Of course, I don't need this, so I will move it like this. So starting point is also um, will be. I will also use uh, move it like this. So here I will edit my approach and uh, not approach but uh, lead in and lead out so like this for example and also i will change the step to three millimeters here in this cycle parameters tab in inspector so reset and run and now we can see the toolpath okay looks nice let's go through simulation and check what we have by the moment so i switch to simulation tab press reset by the way uh, the visibility control in Sprutcam for lathe is different than for turning. So for if for turning, uh, uh, sorry, for, for milling. So if for milling we were using it like this, so we, geomet we had geometry model visibility turned on and machining result visibility turned on basically. So for turning you need to turn off the geometry model and turn on the part visibility. Okay, because the part is something that is uh, made as a revolution of the geometry model and, and it is not the same than geometry model. Okay, and this button is also uh, changing the view 3D, 3 quarters, 1 half and 2D. So I'm using 3 quarters here, like this. So and visibility of the machining result is also turned on. So for me, it's like the... the the most the most common way to use these settings okay let's go to simulation press reset uh, go to the start and press run okay you can see that <clears throat> sprut camp has calculated the toolpath the toolpath is calculated in native machine access and all the collision detection is actually now working so we have the result this is the end result which will be which is calculated taking into an account all these tools all the machine geometry and the, all the limitations okay so in this video i will also create one more operation for grooving for to machine this area which is also very easy so i choose lathe and here i have od grooving so if i go to the job assignment i will see that uh, yes the job assignment took too much so i will decrease it until here and here that's basically it let's run you can see that here are some rest material uh, because we have all Sprutcam has already performed the simulation in the background, so I can see that here I have <coughs> not machined some area. So I will go to cycle parameters, and here uh, for the toolpath parameter, I will choose from rough only to rough and finish and recalculate. So now you can see that my uh, toolpath is better. So for me, okay, that's that's it. Let's check the simulation. Okay, that's it. Pretty easy. Uh, and I think you will like it very much. So uh, in Sprutcam also you can 
edit your job assignment interactively. You can also make stock here, just dragging some parts of the toolpath. So you can also change the direction from this to this. Uh, so please use it. Uh, I think it's quite easy and uh, very user friendly. So these all these interactive elements uh, that something that people very like like very much about Sprutcam.